Bang! Neves and Ives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife Kara is busy and today we are talking about 10 top 10 ways to maintain your knives. Before I get started, I just want to say that we do lives every Wednesday and Thursday at 7.30 p.m. So if you'd like to join us for a live, um, yeah, 7.30 p.m. Central Time, Wednesdays and Thursdays. Remember, this is all just preventive care. So this is to prevent doing a full-blown takedown of your knife, to prevent taking apart your entire knife. And eventually you're going to have to take apart your entire knife and, you know, clean it all out, clean your pivot out, re-oil it. But this is just preventive measure, um preventing you know you having to clean your knives all the time so if you keep up with them you rarely ever have to actually take them apart if you do these things on the list so this is preventive care so number one i'm just going to go one through ten is just cleaning your blade so there's lots of ways to to clean your blade but if you, when you get stuff on it no matter what it is, you should clean your blade off. That's what leads to rust, and also it can lead to your edge getting dull, especially if you get sticky stuff and tape on there. So just um, washing it off with soap and water. Soap and water is just fine. Give it a little scrub with um, paper towel or, you know, um, dishcloth or a sponge, something like that. But make sure you dry it off very, very good. Always make sure you dry it off. Number two is cleaning out your knife. So you don't always have to take apart your knife to clean it. You can also just get a rag and go right through it. So good way I like to do it is I take the corner, I send it through, and I'll go like this and I'll work it all the way through. And then I'll go through the other side you know, like the little spots like this that are in between the standoffs. Now, sometimes you're going to have a backspacer that's not just standoffs. Now, if you get that, you basically do the same thing. Do the same thing, except for smash it in there. What I like to do is I usually start from the bottom and I'll start smashing it in there. And then I'll just run it back and forth right there in that area and then send it through up here so and then sometimes you can just you know push push it around up in there get it down there push it through really good coming through the back close it up you can do the same thing through this area make sure you clean off where your um, stop pins are going to hit and you can do all this without taking it apart and it will help you maintain your knife without having to take it apart in between you know doing full maintenance on there and a lot of times you can get by with doing this for practically forever just depending on what type of environment you put your knives through oiling your blade because after you clean it off or even every couple weeks you should oil your blade I'm just going to do it on this one right here but you know what? I'll do it on a D2 knife because D2 you definitely want to keep up with a little bit more than other knives but I like to use the three-in-one because this one lubricates penetrates rust and cleans so if you have little rust spots you can use this and scrub it really good but you want to just I usually just go like this add a little dot and I'll rub it all around add a little dot But this stuff's really, really cheap. I'm pretty sure I have, I'm have. i going to have some link down below. There's lots of different stuff you can do this with. But you should definitely get something. Some type of oil. I prefer the 3-in-1. But there's also EDCI or something like that. That's a spray. And then let it sit for a second. Not, very, not too long. Try to make sure you get it in between everything really good. Let's sit for a second and then wipe it back off. And that's it. It's really easy to do. 
Now this, I, I don't really recommend putting this stuff in your pivot. You can, it's not gonna hurt it. But I have um, something else for the pivot, which will be number four. I like to use KPL. This is KPL right here. There's lots of different stuff for this. KPL has been the best stuff that I have found for doing a pivot. Now you don't have to take your knife all the way apart to do this. Find the detent ball, which is right there. If you can see it, you can see when I touch it, it's this little ball right there. Put just a little tiny dot on there and then work your blade back and forth so that it gets on the detent track. And then put a little dot right there and a little dot on the other side. And then same thing, just work it back and forth so it gets all in there. And yeah, works really good. That will help keep rust out from your pivot and also help your knife keep, be nice and smooth for good action. And it stops your grittiness too. If you have um, a lot of grittiness in your pivot, a lot of times it's not the pivot that's gritty. A lot of times it's a dry detent ball. So make sure you always do that detent track. Number six is making sure your hardware stays tight. You gotta do this about once a month, once every couple weeks. Just check your hardware, make sure that they are good and tight and make sure they're they're not coming loose you might need loctite if they do continue to come loose all the time they shouldn't come loose very often depending on how hard you are on your knives don't screw them in very very tight just especially depending on what type of materials you have like if you have micarta do not do these very tight just hand tighten them and that's it you do not want to crack your micarta um, also make sure, you know, that if they are coming loose, you might need some Loctite, which we'll talk about that in one second. Let's talk about the pivot. When you start getting, if you do start getting some blade play or if your knives not centered perfectly, usually it's just going to be that your pivot is a little loose. So. You just want to check your hardware and make sure it's good and tightened up. It's, bit, it's that simple. Most pivots are T8, but sometimes they are other sizes. But make sure that it's nice and tight, but then also check, ooh, check your action because you don't want to over tighten. Never over tighten. If you have to put, don't put too much torque into it. Just make sure it's nice and snug. That's it. And then if it is, winds up being a little too tight, when you start to loosen it, do it very small increments like that right there. That was most likely enough to give it good action. The difference between that and where it was is a lot. Now, if it won't stop getting off of centered or going to loose while you're fidgeting it, then that will take us to number seven, which is Loctite. Loctite is, I'm just gonna take this out right now, but I'm gonna give this something to put it on. Okay, so I'm gonna take this pivot out to show this off because this is a very important step and even if you know how to loctite your knives, there's still one important part that I feel like a lot of people miss. So if you have the, the stick, you won't need this, but if you get the stuff like this that's, um, that's not already dry or partially dry, then it's going to come out very fast and see the way I do it is I let it go on to thing and I dab it before it soaks in. Just that little bit right there. Go all the way in, not real tight. Go back out so that all the threads are covered. 
and then back in and then what we're going to do is then you're going to check it to make sure see ours isn't centered yet so we're gonna have to go a little tighter centered and then check the action make sure the actions where you want it make sure there's no blade play make sure the actions really good nice and centered and then let it sit for 48 hours um, usually the biggest problem a lot of people say I put Loctite on it and it's still coming apart well usually it's because you didn't let it sit and what happened was, was before it dried, it, it started cracking inside there because the pivot was coming on loose as it was drying. So let it get fully dry. Like I said, 36 to 48 hours, then that'll make it good and dry. And then you can uh, play with your knives or use your knife. I mean, <laughs> number eight, cleaning your scales. Now there's different kinds of scales. So the way you're going to clean this is going to be different than the way you clean this or the way you clean this. They're just, they're going to be a little different. So with something like this, you can basically just scrub it um, with a, a washcloth, whatever. But the screws you want to be a little careful with because you don't want them to rust. So make sure you dry it really, really good. Make sure you don't let water penetrate in your areas. That's why I recommend just getting a washcloth or something and then um, and then scrubbing it. So don't just soak it, you know, so make sure it's just partially damp and then dry it all the way off. Then oil it and stuff like that. Now some inlays, if you have inlays, they might be at heat like they might be put in with adhesive, so you don't want to get them too wet, and especially with any type of um, chemical that could eat the, you know, the glue, basically. So alcohol works really good, so I recommend using alcohol on something like this. Um, that would be actually probably the best thing, and even this you can do alcohol with that's just fine but sometimes you need to scrub it a little bit more so alcohol is usually the best thing to clean scales off with now something like this is going to soak up whatever you clean it off with so you might um you know so alcohol is really good but like the, this is um a material that can depends on your micarta but some micarta can absorb it so i usually just scrub it off with a scrub brush really good and then i uh i let it dry off i'll take out the screws if i have to and take it apart and then take my micarta off and scrub it separately um because i don't want it to trap any moisture in any places and rust anything so with micarta you want to be a little bit more careful with if you want to wash it a lot of people like to let their micarta patina so it's up to you but alcohol works really good for cleaning your knives with that's probably the most recommended thing to clean your knives with period because it absorbs or it evaporates very quickly so you don't have to worry about it rusting anything it'll just disappear next up is some edge maintenance stropping so get a strop um get some compound depending on what steel you're using how much money you have there's diamond spray you can put on here there's chromium oxide there's um, all different kinds of stuff you can put on here um, for really cheap you can get some chromium oxide you can even find that stuff at the uh, hardware store
soon i'm gonna do another live sharpening so there you guys go peace